as the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. A lot of late movement on that fastball. That nearly came back to the outer edge. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. From the windup, the one one pitch. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Three runs already home here. Nope. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two. Gordon Beckham will stand in now as he'll be getting his first plate appearance in this one here in the eighth. Third baseman, Gordon. And Beckham. he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. Well, the guy you see right there has been terrific. But will they let him work these final two innings? Well, I think the pitch count is in his favor. Everybody pays a lot of attention to that. So barring a huge spike right here in the eighth, I don't see any reason why he can't get these final six outs. And another foul ball. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. And it was sinking on him a bit, but he's able to run it down anyway for the first down. Number 11, Ender Inciarte. Ender Inciarte. Ready for another at bat now. He's two for three so far. Yeah, and you can bet he'd love to get himself that third hit. Those are the kind of games that puts a little extra pep in your step. Here's a fastball that he shoots on into left center, and that'll fall for a base hit. Drew Stubbs will stand in for the fourth time now, still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far, and they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. The 0 1. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 2 now. But this is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92, 93. Freddie Freeman will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at bats so far. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Down the first baseline, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Alex Torres will come on now to start the ninth inning as he looks to keep this deficit right where it is for the bottom of the ninth. Ryan Zimmerman will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Huh. Safe to say, guys don't care much for that location. That'll get you riled up the plate, no doubt. This is line to left, and this is down in front of Stubbs for a base hit. How about Striding into the box, Anthony Rendon. He singled his last time up. jammed him a bit there as it's fouled at the plate. Very weakly on the ground. Foul ball, strike two. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. 
struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. And with strike three recorded there, he's notched his first career punch out. You can bet his club is hoping for a lot more of that going forward. Well, if he can become a consistent strikeout pitcher, you have to figure his career is going to be a solid one. Many of the best pitchers at this level have at least one put away pitch that they can go to in tough situations. So we'll see if he becomes one of those guys as his career goes along. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Max Scherzer gets an opportunity here for a fourth plate appearance this afternoon, and, well, he's really earned it. Well, he definitely has, Matt. I mean, he's been on point today and really held him at bay. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. Boy, he's doing it all out there so far. Not only is he pitching a great game, but he gets in on the act offensively as well. Trey Turner ready for another at bat now. He's two for three so far. Cut fastball inside, ball one. Now there's nobody up in the bullpen throwing, so this guy's going to have to sink or swim. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. And Ciarte's there. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Adonis Garcia will be tasked now with leading things off in their leading half of the, the ninth as they'll the try to do something to prevent Second, being baseman. shut out. And yeah, whatever they've done for the first eight yeah. innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far. So, quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Right back, same pitch, also knee high. He wasn't buying that one either. He's going to have to do something now. He's down two strikes. And that's in there, base hit. So that's just how you want to start it here in the bottom of the ninth. A.J. Pierzynski will dig in. Took a cold third strike his last time. Pulls the string on that one. One strike. And Pierzynski can't come up with that one. It's 0-2 now. Well, I just don't think he was expecting that one. And it was the perfect time to just take a little off. in front of that one but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2 and boy what a battle brewing here as he fouls yet another pitch into the seats still stuck on 0 and 2 here's a swing and oh man way out of here So a two-run home run for A.J. Pierzynski. And the Braves have cut things to a 4-2 score. To third, Rendon has it. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Hector Oliveira will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Hector Oliveira. Right there for strike one. And with one out in the ninth, he's just now coming up on his 100th pitch of the ball game. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, and the count holds at 0-2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Scherzer looks in. 0-2 pitch on its way. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Such a good at-bat right here. When you can grind out seven, eight pitches against a guy that's running short on gas, that can be huge. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Well, you know he's going to be happy to finally come away with that strikeout, but he's so deep into the start right now, and you hate to burn through that many pitches on one hitter as he did right there. Those at-bats, they seem to take a little bit more energy out of you later in the game than maybe back in the first or second inning. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. 
And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. And he will make the catch to wrap this one up, and the Nationals move to 1-0 on the young season as this ball game is over. Well, we talked about how they needed a good outing out of this guy, and he gave them that and even more, finishing off the complete game victory. Before we take our leave, time for a look at our final line score here in what turned out to be a close two-run victory. A handful of fine individual performances to choose from in this one, boys. But what do you say we go ahead and let this man take home the hardware? He's our tops player of the game. And you have to feel good for that guy right there. The games finally count, and he comes out on opening day and turns in a great performance. Now, that's how you want to get your season started. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Eric Carroll, Steve Lyons, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vasquez.